we're gonna be getting into horror holidays. Uh, most of us have had one. So let's get into Mosh, who went to Mexico. One of them got like hit in the chest or like chin, and then it turns into like a full on brawl. Hi, my name is Mosh. Um, I am 26, uh, and I had a very crazy holiday experience in Cancun, Mexico. It was for my 25th birthday, actually. So it was like a 25th birthday celebration. Um, turned up, and there's only really one club in Cancun anyway for black people that plays like hip hop, rap, R&B, whatever. Um, but yeah, so we've had a great night, party till about 4, 5 a.m. Um, everyone's really drunk and intoxicated. It's all getting well. It's all getting jolly. We're being slowly ushered outside the club. And um, the moment I stepped out of the club, I clocked, I need you to the toilet. Uh, but I couldn't get back inside the club once I had been told there's no more re-entry. So obviously in my drunk and inebriated state, I've tried to look for a little corner to take a leak um, in a foreign country, which I just thought in my drunk state would be fine, especially because I can't get back inside the venue. Um, and then I see a police officer pull round the corner. He can't speak great English, but he's like, you, piss, urinate. I'm like, uh, nah. I'm drunk by this point, like I'm very drunk. So he comes towards me and goes, you piss $300. I'm thinking, boss, you've got to be taking a piss. This is, this is not happening. So you have a brief exchange and um, he, he, he quickly comes to realize that I'm not going to give him the $300. So then he starts to radio for some backup and he's got me by my arm. At this point, I'm still thinking, I'll probably be able to talk myself in the situation. Um, and I didn't run, I just kind of stayed with him. So about two police cars have pulled up and about five other police officers have jumped out of the car and um, they're still trying to get me to pay. And then they start to get really physical. So they drag me from my corner, like <laughs> onto the main strip and march me to like a cash point. So I've got five like Cancun police officers screaming in my face, $300, $300. dollars At this point, I start to realize, okay, this is a lot more serious than I thought it would be in the first place, do you feel me? So um, they now radio for some more backup and my two other guys who I've left now see me because I've been gone for like 10 minutes. So they now see me and, and come over. Um, at this point, two huge like, <laughs> two huge SUVs now pull up and I see about five more police officers. I've literally got 10 police officers and, and my two friends. I'm here just saying, I'm not paying you $300. So do your worst. At the point I say, do your worst, one of the officers now jumps on my back and puts me like a full Nelson, yeah. And then I see another police car kind of pull up and they open the door and I've now got like six officers trying to force me into the car. At which point it becomes a little scuffle because my two friends are like, what on earth is going on? Like, how has this kind of gotten to this point of, yeah, like, this, like how have we gotten here? Um, so then a scuffle, like a full on scuffle now ensues. And for what feels like a lifetime, it's probably about 20 seconds. I'm talking like there's fists flying, there's whatever, like we're all, I'm thinking, Jesus. I reach up, my guy screams at me and goes, Mosh, they've got straps. And I see a gun in a holster and I'm thinking, this is just not what I came to Mexico for. Like I came to turn up, it's Cancun, I mean, whatever, cool. So um, they now march me to the police car and they put me in handcuffs. So eventually they've got me into the car, but there's only one hand inside the handcuffs. So I've now got two police officers in the back seat with me whilst one drives, still trying to force my other hand into the handcuffs while we're driving. They've taken me to the station. I'm in the station, again, still very drunk. Um, I think I was just more like annoyed at this point, so I got very loud and belligerent, asking me again, they're like, you've got to pay the $300 because you've, um, I can't remember what the word was for like public indecency or whatever. Um, so you've got to pay the $300 or you've got to spend the, th the 36 hours in the cell. Bear in mind we're there for like six days. $300 is, isn't a small chunk of the cash I've bought. So I'm like, boy, I can sleep anywhere. I'm just gonna get comfortable in a concrete cell and sleep um, for some time. On my first night, by the way, I haven't even slept yet. Um, so yeah, eventually after about four hours in the cell, I get freed. And the Gurkha has a very interesting first night. And it was still a great holiday, you feel me? It was still a good holiday. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Untold Stories. If you have missed any episode, make sure you go back and watch and make sure you subscribe as well for the episodes that are to come.